Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at Sahara's latest gaming mic. This is the Sahara Mic 2. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're taking a look at Sahara's Gaming Mic 2. This is from Sahara Gaming UK and was sent to us free of charge for review purposes. This is to address a problem that some of you may be facing if you've got yourself a pair of headphones, such as possibly these ones, which are actually, ironically, from Sahara Gaming also. These are great headphones, but sadly, they don't have a built-in microphone. Now, quite often you'll find with gaming headsets, the gaming headset itself may be fine, may look good, and may be very, very comfortable. But quite often you find that with these gaming headsets, the microphone does let it down considerably. So this is where devices like this come into play. So Sahara Mic 2 is essentially a microphone which can be attached to a variety of different headsets. Comes with a variety of different attachments as well, so you don't have to just stick it onto one headset and be done with it. You can actually move it between your favourite headsets, although I don't think many people have more than one headset, but if you do, let me know in the comments section below. So in today's video, we're going to go through, do a quick unboxing, see what we actually get, see how easy it is to actually attach to our headphones. Then we'll do some practical tests. Uh, I'm actually going to plug the microphone directly into the camera, so you're going to get a really good response, and also it's going to be raw data straight into the microphone port. After we've done that, I'm going to review the footage, see what it actually sounds like, and then give you my personal opinion at the very end. So stay tuned for that. So first of all, we'll looking at the packaging, as you can see, Sahara Gaming, Sahara Mic 2, and it says there it's a attachable microphone to any headphones. So yeah, it says any, but obviously you do need to have some sort of flat surface to actually attach it to. You can see there the design of it. So it's a boom style microphone. There is also a inline mute switch as well, which is always very handy. Should uh, there be something you want to mute out or maybe there's something going on at home and you don't want other people to hear. So yep, yeah, that's very handy indeed. On the side, it talks about some of the applications. So of course you can use it with a 3.5 mil jack, but you can also use it with things like your Xbox, PlayStation, etc., with a suitable adapter. And the same goes for mobile phones. The adapters aren't included, but they're easily available online in various stores. I'll try and put some links for those in the video description also. On the back of the box goes into some more details and also tells you about the accessories that you get included, such as you get the Sahara Mic 2 microphone, you get the attached three meter cable and a 3.5 mil jack, get cable clips and extra adhesive and you get a high quality zip carry case. Also you get the two base clasps, one top clasp and an instruction manual. So let's take a look and see what it's actually like. Now this is actually new for me, I've not seen what this is like at all so this is going to be an extremely raw unboxing experience. And first of all actually that is quite nice, a hard or semi hard case and you can see the Sahara Gaming logo or branding is actually embossed into that which is all very good. Kind of like a glasses case, very compact. You could quite easily put this into a shirt or jeans pocket or rucksack, carry bag, that kind of thing. And open it up. What are we going to get inside? So, yep, pretty nice little layout there. So you get your accessories packed there. So we'll take a look at that shortly. And also we get the mic as well. well actually, there's some elastic there holding things in place. So that's good. So it's not going to go everywhere. So the microphone itself actually, uh, yeah, quite lightweight as well, which is uh, nice to see. So it appears we've got a flexible boom arm section there so you can get it as close or move it away from your actual mouth depending if you what you're doing if you're drinking or eating it's quite often something you're going to do is bend it out of the way so yeah, that's very handy got the connection there with the 3m tape on there so it's double-sided adhesive and also it looks like there is a screw there yeah you can undo the screw and then you can slide that to a certain position so if uh, you want the microphone further in front of you or closer to you etc you can make adjustments there so that's good and that tightens up very easily got the wire there for connecting to your 3.5 mil jack with a gold plated connection on the end and also there's a little bit of velcro in there as well so if you want to uh, cable manage or something then you certainly can do and looking at the actual control box here so we've got a little control box very simple very straightforward thing to do literally just on and off Actually, the switch feels very defined, so you are going to know if it's on or off. Although, there doesn't appear to be any kind of LEDs or anything on there to actually tell you if the mic is on or off, which would have been useful. But I guess because it's powered from a 3.5mm jack, that really isn't possible. So let's take a look at the accessories and see what we actually get here. So starting off, there is a little instruction leaflet, which yep, looks all very simple and straightforward. And if there's any issues, there is always going to be a QR code on the back, so you can... Uh, find out more information from Sahara Gaming themselves. So there is a alcohol prep pad. Now this is going to be useful. So if you've had your headphones for a little while and you've been using them, you've taken them on and off all the time, 
this is a very strong chance you're gonna have grease from your hands, etc., onto the actual side of the headset. So you're gonna to wanna to clean that up using the prep pad. And inside the rest of here, there's a selection of other items. So we've got five little replacement 3M stickies, so double-sided stickies. So if you decide that actually you're gonna change your headphones, you can just peel this off and then use another adhesive. You get a base unit or base section. So you can have this on two devices. So it's got one already on there. So there is a spare one. So if for some reason it breaks or you just wanna change it so you can use it on another set of headphones, then you can definitely do that. And that is on a, I'm assuming, yeah, it's like a toggle. So it just pushes on and twists round and locks into position. So it's gonna keep it nice and secure. You also get one, two, three, four, five little kind of cable joiners there. Ironically in an S shape for Sahara Gaming. So what you do is you can clamp that around the cable and also the cable for your headset as well to keep all the cables nice and neatly together if you're gonna be keeping it in there for an extended period. So that's that out of the way, let's see how easy it is to actually attach. So we've got our headphones here. So these are the Sahara Gaming headphones. We reviewed these a while back, you can check out up here. So there's a little section on the side there which we can use. Actually, that's gonna be perfect for sticking on our circular mounting point. So what we'll do is go ahead and really should have cleaned that off, but uh, I have cleaned it prior to this anyway, so that's gonna be absolutely fine. Wow, that is some sticky stuff. That was actually quite difficult to get off of there. Sahara, if you're watching this, um, a little tab on these adhesive covers would be very useful, especially for those of us that uh, don't have nails. So what we're gonna do is basically line up on the side of our headphone. So actually I think that is the left-hand side, so I'm gonna have this on the left-hand side. And what we're gonna do is to stick that somewhere in the middle. And it doesn't really matter where you stick it too much. I would say if you can, maybe try and get this section to be kind of uh, horizontal or vertical as the case may be. So we're gonna stick it on, hold it in place. And that is essentially it. So now our headset, which didn't have a microphone, now has a microphone. Now, if we want to take this off, that's probably not a good idea to do this straight away. Normally with most adhesives, you want to leave it to kind of uh, cure a little bit. But let's see if it actually does come off okay. Yep, comes off okay. And obviously leaves that in place. It actually comes off pretty easily. So typical kind of connection, almost like a BNC connector for networks. So you push it in, twist it, and that locks it into place. And of course you can move this however you want to. And that doesn't seem to uh, want to pull that off of there. Although that is a little bit on the loose side, probably needs a little bit of tightening up. But there is a little bit of flexibility there, so that is uh, very handy. And of course, what you can do then, you can run the wire to wherever you want to. On this particular headset, I'm pretty sure that is the left and that is the right. It doesn't actually stay on the majority, but you can if you want to. Obviously, you could put it on that side and then bunch all the cables up together. The choice is uh, down to the individual. So that's it set up. Best thing to do now is actually give it a try and see what it sounds like. Okay, so I've finally worked out how to actually get the microphone to work and hopefully you can hear me now nice and clearly. Be interested to see what this is like. Like I said in this review in the beginning, I've not tried this at all. I've literally, this is the first time I've taken it out and plugged it into a camera. Now I did actually on my camera previously with the microphone, so in complete transparency, the camera which we're using, which is the Lumix S5, there are two different options for the microphone. There's powered and unpowered. So currently this is set to powered, so the microphone is gaining power from the actual camera itself and we've got the db level set to minus 10 i believe it was whereas normally with my boya mic which is the lav mic which i'm still wearing but not using that is normally set into unpowered mode because it is a powered microphone and that is set to a db level of minus six so hopefully you can hear some sort of differences and uh hopefully it's picking up the voice very well let's do some plosive so peter picked a piece of pickled pepper peter picked a piece of pickled pepper Hopefully this sounds pretty good. Uh, looking at the microphone levels, I can see on my display monitor over there, looks like we're getting up to, well, we're out of the green and peeking into the yellow every now and then, which is pretty much how I have my previous mic set up, which may or may not be the best way of setting up. But it does actually seem that the signal from this is actually a relatively hot signal. Now, depending on the actual specs, they haven't actually provided the specs, so we don't know the type of microphone, the impedance and the gain, etc., etc. So literally this is kind of the best I can do to show you what the performance is actually like. Now again, hopefully the volume is coming through nice and clearly, nice and crisp. It looks like it's giving out a stereo signal, which is gonna be mono split into two mono tracks to give you left and right exactly the same. But yeah, they appear to be quite balanced. I'm gonna be absolutely silent now, so we'll see what the noise is like as a noise floor. So hopefully this is gonna be actually rejecting other noises around, which uh, we'll demonstrate as well.
looking over at the meters, didn't see there's anything going on. Now we have got a rather, rather noisy fridge freezer just over there. Obviously there's a computer behind me, computers around me, etc, etc. So let's try some clicks and some taps to see what they're like. So there you go, there's some uh, noises a bit further away from the microphone. Be interested to see, actually, it did look like it peaked a couple of times there, so it looks like the sound rejection from a distance actually isn't particularly high. It looks like it's picking up noises from general directions. Let's do a... So just tapping on the wall there. It doesn't look like it picked up much of that, but again... We'll find out when we do the uh, the playback and see what this actually sounds like. So anyway, I've probably bored you all to tears by now. So I'm going to stop this right here, listen to the footage, and then we'll come back with my final thoughts. And we'll talk about some other things, such as pricing, availability, etc., etc. Okay, so we're back, and I've done the tests, and I've listened back to it. And I've got to be honest with you, I'm pretty blown away. For those of you that have watched the video already, and obviously you're watching it in a more chronological order, you've heard of what it sounds like already so you can appreciate how good it actually is i actually found a lot of difficulty differentiating it between my lav mic which i'm wearing which is a studio production mic against this which is effectively designed well i guess for gamers i think if you're gaming or if you're having skype calls zoom calls or maybe you're doing online interviews and you're one of those people that is on kind of talk radio that kind of stuff this is brilliant you can use whatever headphones you want within reason as long as there's somewhere to actually mount it and you can sound like you're a complete professional i i've got to be honest with you the richness the tonal quality of the microphone is excellent again i don't know what actual capsule they're using on here i do not know the uh, db ratings the gain etc etc and how hot it is the impedance all that kind of stuff because i don't have that information but from what i can tell whatever it is is pretty bloody good and that is a recommendation enough Again, hopefully you've heard it and you know the difference and maybe you're listening on headphones as well and you've seen the difference. I was actually quite surprised when I did the section in the video where I was tapping on the wall. Now, I can hear that quite clearly and you can probably hear it now when I've got my, uh, my lav mic on. I can see, yeah, it's definitely showing on the meters there. But actually, I did notice that bit actually went pretty silent. So the noise rejection is going to be for certain frequencies, I think, rather than being specific like when I was doing clicks etc those are really hard to kind of isolate anyway but yeah I feel that it's done a very good job the mounting mechanism is excellent easy to take off etc and adjust and bend it around yeah no complaints whatsoever and audio quality which essentially is what this comes down to yeah can't fault it at all one thing I can fault which uh, we should get onto is the price now, for some people, you're obviously looking around at this kind of device and you're immediately thinking of the, uh, I think it's Antlion, the mod mic. They do a range of mics which do a very similar kind of job. I haven't tested one, I've heard them, and they appear to do a very similar job, albeit at a slightly higher price. This particular version, which uh, equates to one of the other mod mics from Antlion, this is around about 10 to 15 pounds cheaper, kind of on average, than that particular version, although they do different versions, etc., and slightly different mounting mechanisms, that kind of stuff. So price-wise, you're looking somewhere in the region between kind of 40 to 55 pounds, depending where you shop. Now, Sahara do quite often do discounts and free shipping, all that kind of stuff, so that is gonna come into it as well. Local pricing in various areas, I'm not entirely sure, so you'll need to click on the links in the video description to see what the price is in your local area. But overall, I feel for the quality, you can't knock it at all. The sound quality is excellent. It does actually, even though the, the lav mic normally does give me quite a lot of bass to my voice, I do feel that this actually felt a little bit richer and a little bit smoother. Maybe let me know in the comments section what you think about that. But certainly for me, listening back to it on my speakers, it did appear that it was a slightly more rich, almost like a more kind of radio type voice, which I actually do like the sound of. So yeah, definitely excellent. Price wise, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it works for everybody, but if you're somebody out there and you actually, you love this, you like the sound of it, you want to use it yourself, but you don't quite have the money to go out and buy one. What I'm going to do is for viewers of Mike's Unboxing, if you drop me an email, mike at mikesunboxing.com, which probably down there as well, I'm going to do a giveaway of this entire package. So I'm going to give away, um, the Sahara Mic 2, obviously it's semi-attached on there, so you can see it's worked. Um, and I'm also going to give away the Sahara Pro-V gaming headset as well. So you'll get both of these packages in one. 
If for some reason you only want the mic, then just let me know and I'll just send you the mic, etc., etc. But yeah, if you want this, let me know, mike at mikesunboxing.com. That is what I'm going to do. And then I'll put all those emails into a bucket and then I'll pull out a name. And in a month or so's time, when there's a few entries, then we'll, uh, we'll pull a winner out. And uh, hopefully this will be winging its way to you. But if you want to pick one up in the meantime, obviously there will be links in the video description below. Ultimately, if I was to give it a rating in terms of audio quality, I've got to give it a five out of five because it's basically the same as my production mic, which I use on a daily basis, which I'm very happy with. So audio wise, I've got no issues there whatsoever. It, it sounds great, it really does. Price wise, it's a difficult one for me because as most of you know, I am a cheapskate. So I like to save money and get value for money. Now clearly this is value for money because competitive products are slightly dearer. So it works out for me, but I still think it's somewhere around the 40 to 50 pounds mark for a basically a stick on microphone to me seems a little bit on the rich side but let me know what you think about it in the comment section so that's going to wrap this one up uh please do let me know what you think about this do you think this is too expensive at the kind of 50 pounds mark i guess you're getting what you pay for which is what it's all about ultimately especially when it comes to audio reproduction if it sounds good it's worth the money but yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.